question is from Joel Kirkland of Climate Wire. Your line is open. Uh, hello. Um, I, I guess a couple questions, one fairly um, general and, and one a little bit more specific. Uh, generally speaking, do you think this is a defining moment for business um, in terms of this particular issue? And uh, more specifically, um, uh, you know, if, if there is sort of, a, sort of an effort um, to marginalize some corners of the business community, particularly the big trade, trade groups, um, you know, do you think the business community is being adequately heard in this debate? I guess uh, it is a defining issue in that uh, the science uh, continually points to the fact that we need to get going on it, and I think American business is ready, willing, and able, as long as it's reasonable and balanced, to do just that. Uh, and I guess I'm not certain what your specific question was, Joel. Well, there's been some reporting that um, you know, the White House has, has had something to do with um, the Chamber of Commerce ordeal, uh, plus also there's been sort of a concerted effort to kind of speak with CEOs rather than tr big trade groups um, and to kind of go through uh, that prism um, when, when speaking with the business community. Uh, you know, it, both both... both the Chamber and the National Association of Manufacturers have to some degree been targeted, uh, not, um, you know, by outside groups as well who want to kind of marginalize them a bit um, um, because they're highly influential and spend a lot of money and so forth. Yeah, uh, I, guess I, I guess I've got the foundation of your question. Okay. One, I would, I hope, uh, in a great American sense, that the White House isn't trying to marginalize anyone for any reason. That surely is not the appropriate use of the pulpit, at least from this member of society. But equally important, I, I would argue that uh, organizations like ours at Business Roundtable, others that I belong to, particularly Edison Electric Institute, have been a very influential, and I expect NAM and the Chamber will as well. So this is America. This is the beauty of the open discussion. If you want to join or disjoin, go right ahead. You're free to do whatever you'd like to do. I just hope the White House isn't cornering people and forcing them to do something that they wouldn't do it of their own free will. This is a free country with free people. Well, what do you mean by the last statement there? Well, just like I said, you you offered that the White House apparently is pressuring people. I, I think that's terrible. That's, yeah, that's terrible. too strong. That's too strong a word. I mean, the the, the report, I guess, uh, suggested that um, you know they 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 had simply made a decision to kind of talk with CEOs rather than rather than kind of the big trade groups, which which they would put in the lobbying category. Joel, uh, this, this is John Castellani. Um, you know, our experience has been uh, that they have been reaching out to all sorts of uh, groups, all manner and, and nature and form of groups, um, and uh, uh, including the Business Roundtable as an institution, as well as individuals uh, and uh, CEOs and, and, and other individuals. Uh, what Mike is saying and what we're concerned about is that what is important here is to get the perspective of all aspects of the economy because it's got to work for big business, it's got to work for small business, it's got to work for consumers, it's got to work for workers, and it's got to work for investors. Uh, and the more that those voices are engaged, the better we have a chance of the policy uh, that is ultimately enacted being something that actually meets the objective uh, and allows the economy to continue to grow and create jobs. Okay, and John, you, you think that that, that, uh, that that goal was being met at this point, to hear all the voices and get it all out there? I, I certainly think all the voices are out there and, and, and uh, uh, you know, in the Congress, uh, in the administration, um, uh, and I think it's important that they all be uh, continue to be there. Okay, thank you. Right. We have, uh, Kelly, we have time for one more question. Thank you. Steve Levine of Business Week, your line is open. Uh, my question was already answered. Thank you. That's about perfect. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining uh, Mike Morris and, and me on this call the, uh, this morning. Uh, the documents we're referring to uh, are available on our website, which is www.businessroundtable.org. www www.businessroundtable.org. Uh, if you have any uh, further uh, questions, uh, please do not hesitate to contact us, and thank you for your time.
Kelly, that now concludes the call. Thank you for participating in today's conference call. You may now disconnect. Thanks, John.